Happy Days with HB Ice Cream and the Ray Darcy Show. We've got an email in uh, during the week, <coughs> excuse me, um, from Patricia. There's something wrong something in my throat this morning. So I apologise for that. Um, I had a very infuriating experience in Tesco uh, in Wilton in Cork on Saturday evening that I need to rant about. I spent about 40 minutes doing my grocery shopping for the weekend, which included three bottles of wine. I then proceeded to the checkout and loaded up all my groceries into the belt or onto the belt. The young woman in front of me was asked for ID. I thought, uh, oh, I'll start again. I thought it sucks to be her. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll start again. A very infuriating experience in Tesco, Wilton and Cork on Saturday evening that I need to rant about. I spent about 40 minutes doing my grocery shopping for the weekend, which included three bottles of wine. I then proceeded to the checkout and loaded all my groceries onto the belt. The young woman in front of me was asked for ID. I thought it uh, sucks to be her, as she had a young face, but was obviously over 18. She left the drink behind, paid for her groceries, and then it was my turn. I smugly thought I won't get asked because I'm 26 and I look it and very rarely get asked for ID, although it's only ever in Cork that I do get asked. I'm sure there's something in that. But at the same time, was glad that I had my full Irish driving licence on me. Sure enough, she asked me for ID. I smiled, no smirked, in a really do I look like I'm 17 kind of way as I pulled my licence out of my purse. But this wasn't good enough for the 40-odd-year-old Irish female checkout person. I give this detail because I feel she should have more cop on. She wanted a passport or a Garda ID. I kind of laughed as I asked, was she serious? And said that I don't carry my passport with me and don't have a Garda ID anymore because I'm 26 and I've been able to buy alcohol for over eight years. I expected her to come to her senses and realise she was being stupid. But no, she said she had to go check with her manager. Good, I thought. She'll be overruled by someone who has been trained to handle situations like this. I looked over to see her stony-faced manager shake his head and I began to feel very annoyed. She came back and said that if I didn't have the correct form of ID, she couldn't serve me. I was aware at this stage that we had a bit of an audience and that I was holding up the queue, but I wasn't going to give in, so I said I wanted to speak to her manager. She said something along the lines of, go ahead, and it was clear that this customer service skills... Uh, that his customer service skills weren't going to bring him over to me. So I stormed over to him, shaking with anger and annoyance at this stage. I stated that I was 26 and that this was ridiculous as I waved my license in his face. Not the best idea, I realised, but in the moment, it was all I could do um, to hit him over the head with it. <laughs> to not hit him over the head with it. Uh, with an expression which showed he really couldn't give a crap about me or my problems, he said that if the clerk had asked me for ID and I couldn't produce the correct form, there was nothing he could do. That, that was their policy. It was always that he didn't have the common sense to overrule an error in judgment made by his subordinate. What is the point in having a manager, I ask you? It was clear I wasn't going to get anywhere, so I stormed back over to the checkout, uh, mumbling as I went that I wouldn't be shopping here again, and emptied the few items out of my bags. The clerk, with a look of disbelief, asked, uh, Are you not going to buy anything? No, I'm not, I replied as I stormed off with my empty trolley, leaving all my items on the conveyor belt. I wasn't going to give them uh, the trolley token. Uh, I had to sit in the car for a good few minutes to calm myself down, of course, thinking of all the things I should have said to the incompetent manager before I could drive on to a competing supermarket, where I did my shopping in record time and had no problem buying alcohol. In fact, I bought more because I needed a drink when I got home. I appreciate that this is a long, rambling email, but I would really appreciate if you could read at least some of it out, as I think it is ridiculous that Tesco can refuse to accept a driver's licence as form of ID when it is a national document of proof of age. I think they should change their policy, and until they do, I will be shopping elsewhere. Kind regards, Patricia. Good morning, Patricia. Hi, Ray. It was long and rambling. I do apologise for not doing it justice. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It is a bit, a bit <laughs> very long and very rambling. I'm having one of those mornings. Now, um, uh, I was just reading through the papers today, and coincidentally, I don't know if you know this lady, Laura Whitmore, she's uh, an Irish girl who's a presenter on MTV. Yeah, I know of her, uh, yep. The same happened to her in Sainsbury's in England. And uh, she made the paper. You didn't. You yeah. just made a national radio programme. Uh, now, um, we have a picture of you. Um, have you been told in the past that you look young for your age? No. And, you know, I, I, I certainly don't look 17. Yeah. You know, if I do look a bit younger, that's great. But, you know, we don't live in America. It's not 21 is the age limit. Yeah, so, so. So, yeah the age limit is, is 18. Yeah. Now, my understanding is that to get yourself um, a driving licence, you have to submit your birth cert. Yeah, and I, and I think another form of photo identification as well, or do you just, or, you know, you have yeah. your photo signed by a guard. Yeah, so so to get your driving licence, which you had, yeah. you would have had to have um, a birth cert and um, a guard um, uh, confirming that you are who you are. Yeah. 
Right. I don't see why that isn't acceptable. Yeah, no, it's it, it, like according to the citizen information website, there's like five forms and, you know, driver's license is one of them. So what, why is that any more or any less acceptable than, than a passport or, or a guard ID, which is just a piece of plastic? Yeah. The other the other side of the story is, of course, that um, uh, we give out about people serving alcohol to people who are underage. And I suppose what we're doing here is <laughs> we're giving out about the fact that they're, you know, that they're being very strict about it. Um, but it's not being strict about it, though. It's, it's kind of having no no discretion. Yes, no flexibility. Know. Exactly, yeah. yes. Just blindly following their, yes. their policies. Um, just a couple of texts in. Tesco and Wilton are notorious for refusing um, to serve alcohol. That's from Jay in Cork. And the same thing happened to me in the same store with the driver's licence, and it's never happened to me in any other Tesco in the area. Uh, leave the trolley and get out tools, says that person. Uh, yeah. I had the same problem in Killarney, had passport and licence still, um, had to have a Garda ID age card. Pure embarrassing, I'm 27. Uh, um, people would say, of course, that it's a, it's a compliment <laughs> that somebody would ask you. Um, well, I, I don't think it's a compliment to be told I look like I'm 17, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, she was dead right to walk away. Um, fake driving licences are readily available, too easy to copy as they're just a laminated piece of paper. So I think David. it's the same with any form of ID, though. Really, if you want to copy it, you know, if you, you know, you people, people have fake passports. You know, yeah, other people's yeah. passports that they pass off as their own. I, I suppose what they're saying is it's easier to um, have a fake driver's license than a fake passport. Yeah. You have to be eighteen to have a full Irish license, so that should have done. Get Tesco on the line, right? Um, well, we they wouldn't come on, but we did get onto them for a statement. Uh, and this is what they said, Patricia: It's a very serious matter if a retailer sells alcohol to someone who is under eighteen. We at Tesco have a Think 21 policy. All staff are trained in this area and are told that if someone comes to a till, they will be asked their age and to show um, a form of ID if they look younger than 21. At the moment, we accept national identity cards and passports. But we will accept driver's licences also in the next couple of weeks. Now, I don't know if that was in the offing or um, our communication about you to them, has forced them to change their minds on this. And then we asked them why the manager didn't overrule the staff member in this case, your case, Patricia. Yeah. Uh, and they say, we have 120 stores around the country. If they, staff members and managers, deviate from the rules, someone could slip through the net. However, we do advocate a common sense approach. In this case, they may have been overzealous because the trials are going on in some stores at the moment. And the staff member and manager might not have known that they can accept a driver's license because they will be accepted in the next few weeks. However, it would have been worse if this person was 16 and had been served alcohol. Yeah, I understand that point of view, but, you know, it's, it's just, it's, I, it's their lack of leniency and, you know. And then, I, you see, like, I, I find coming to the checkout, if there's any problem whatsoever... It, I find it very embarrassing. Because, yeah, it as is. You it's say, stressful. And there's it's people just... behind you. Uh, they're all looking at you. What's going on? Um, they're sort of stressed as well after doing their shopping, probably have to get home to get the kids from the childminder or whatever. And they're looking at you as if, oh, God, look at her, causing a scene. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it was handled very badly in your estimation. Definitely. Yeah. The, ma the manager just had absolutely no customer service skills. He just stood there and kind of, you know, glared at me as if I was, you know, ruining his day like by by trying to get, get to buy what I wanted to buy. And what sort of did you say? Look, um, well, well, actually, stay with us. I'm going to take a commercial break. And okay. We'll talk to you more after this. 